You know, it, it's like seemed crucial and urgent to me, even in my early 20s and late teenage years before I went to medical school. It's what drove me to become a doctor specializing in nutrition. I'm one of the individuals who didn't change from a conventional doctor into one that's more geared toward lifestyle medicine nutrition. I started out with the purpose to go to medical school with the intention of becoming a physician specializing in nutritional medicine. Because even back then, in my teenage years, I saw that there was so much needless suffering. People suffering with asthma, lupus, psoriasis, heart attacks, diabetes, amputations, kidney failure, dialysis, all these things that are a result of nutritional ignorance and nutritional tragedies were befalling the American population and then spread all over the world. So I'm always saying, why all, these, all this needless suffering and needless death? And I knew that the bursting out, the growth of nutritional science and the growth of nutritional medicine would eventually be something that would overtake and become something real and large in the development of health sciences. I'm a little disappointed that it's not bigger not now because obviously it's still grown tremendously, changing people's nutrition, nutritional excellence since lifestyle medicine and intervening through nutritional methods is still the most effective way that people can get well, recover and prevent disease at the same time. So it's by far the most powerful tool we have to keep people healthy around the modern world. And it's tremendously, I'm tremendously passionate about helping people both preventing these tragedies that never had to occur and affording people the opportunity to get well when they have some illnesses that resulted from poor nutrition, which is obviously the cause of most disease.